So I've applied the uh, black, uh, black 20 silver bits as well, and the brown. I also got a bit bored, so I applied the Bugman's Glow to the uh, skin, and also applied the back to the machine gun as well. Um, <clears throat> I've now just got um, some Vallejo Gunmetal Grey. Um, I always find it's a little bit dark for my liking, particularly when I'm adding it on top of a black. So I'm just mixing it in with a bit of silver. On show. Um, just getting just a slightly lighter gunmetal. Um, I personally just find any form of gunmetal is a bit too dark. Um, especially when, again, you're not using it as a base coat, but you're applying it on top of uh, a black. And I'll then build this up to silver. So put this out of the way. In fact, uh, whilst I've got this and just dry brush on a tissue, so I just don't waste this bit of paint, just as a, a preparation on this machine gun, I'm just can start heavy dry brushing the whole thing, just to start give it, uh, start giving it a silver sort of um, effect. It kind of picks up all the edges, still silver, but hopefully you can see. I find dry brushing silver silver over black, particularly for things like guns with a lot of detail, can really just help to bring all it out, bring it all out. And I just find it's just honestly, it's just I'm not wasting the paint on this brush. So I'll put that to the side for a moment, get my much smaller brush, a bit of water. And now with this paint, the reason I actually got it out is I want to paint in the zips uh, before I start adding in the washes. So this part is just a general case of being as absolutely neat as possible, because I am trying to get, I'll get a camera, I'm trying to get, of course, the zips, but not the back part. Now, I don't need to go insanely neat because I hope that by adding a known wash over this or just a black wash over this afterwards, it can just really highlight where I've missed and I can just touch those up afterwards. Um, I would prefer to miss some areas than to overcoat and then have to try and clean up the black will be much harder. So hopefully you get the idea, just working my way across all of the zip area gone over the silver now and whilst I had like a tiny bit of silver left in the uh, the brush I've gone over a bit of this uh, gun handle just kind of scratching around same again on this just trying to get some kind of sporadic larger scratches from this smaller brush um, I just think it will just help create just a bit of effect before we add the, add the wash in and uh, just uses up the paint that I've got left on the palette now taking some of my uh, dipping wash, uh, dipping formula, mixed it about 50-50 with some water, essentially just using it as a black wash, and I'm just slowly hitting it on either side of the silver, ideally kind of uh, getting it between the black and the red, but also trying my best not to get it onto the red. Um, once I've gone around that, I'm going to do this here, uh, and all the brown and the boots as well, although it probably won't make a difference. So it's the uh, the black wash has dried, um, I think it's added a bit of depth to it. For the silver now, um, I've just now taken the direct Vallejo silver, so without the gun metal grey, the small, very small brush, and I'm trying to get as much of the paint off it as possible, kind of like a dry brush, but maybe a little bit more paint than that. And now what I want to do, and this is the bit where I hope if I do it properly it won't require cleanup, camera, is just very lightly brush over this zip, just so it can add a slightly higher silver highlight. Yeah, I've sort of added a little bit more now and hopefully you can see just across the center getting a little bit more of a shine so I'm just going to go over that uh, whilst I've got it sorry I'll also just um, edge highlight a bit of the guns 
Uh, I'm now going to get a little bit of dark grey and for this I'm just going to use Eschen grey. Uh, very watered down because um, I just want to add a slight highlight to the black. It's always fine if you do use uh, jet black because we seem a little bit too much. So just on the edges of the black now again very carefully I add this um, essentially a charcoal grey edging to the black. Okay. So, uh, I'm not sure if you can even see the grey in the black. What I've tried to do, particularly on this side, is where these light uh, red lines are, try and kind of follow them on with the grey. Um, I'm not sure if you can see particular lines there. Uh, for the boots, I'm going to be a bit more lazy. Just standard dry brush. And just build that grey up as well. As I said, I think straight black just doesn't look right because at no, every point it's going to get hit with, um, with light. Particularly slightly shiny shoes are going to have a much brighter complexion. So I'm just going to go around these boots and give them a quick dry brush. So I've just been going around with a watered uh, down um, of the original base brown. I mean, I do mean really watered down. You can probably see the contrast. And just trying to pick out um, some of the, the larger panels just so I can just bring up the colour again, really. We get the idea. I'm just going to go around with that. Um, and as I go, I've got a bit of this scrag brown. And where possible when it's wet, I just want to kind of touch a little bit of it in. Really blending it in, as you see, just to help create a bit of a, a highlight in certain areas. So I'm just going to play about with that colour. You see it's quite dark, so I mean it's quite bright. So I want to maybe bring it, <clears throat> bring it back down with the, uh, the original brown again on the outside. So I'm just going to work my way around the brown. I uh, ended up doing about three coats on the brown, but I am happy with the transition. It is subtle, but you hopefully can just about see it's kind of coming, that light line, and it brings into dark and a bit lighter on either side. Um, I was looking at the gun and felt it was a bit boring. Um, I looked at M16s online, and I mean, from the film, it is all black. I really didn't want to go with that. Um, and I've so far I've painted it black, dry brushed it with the silver, or the gun metal and silver, um, and then I've stippled it with a bit of silver, and then I've coated it with a black uh, black wash or oil. Um, and this is where I am, I think it's all right. But I do think there's a bit of, it's a bit boring, so maybe you saw there, but just on the edge. What I've been trying to do is just add a bit of green from some images I've seen, I saw where uh, some of the parts of the gun are green. So still enough paint on the brush, but here, instead of actually painting on, I just want to kind of just dab it over, um, just so it doesn't create clear coverage. And it's more like just wearing away green, I guess, green paint that sits on top of this. Um, I will go over it probably two to three times, but I just find it stops there being a, um, I don't know, it just stops it looking new and painted. It will hopefully just blend in like this one has. So I'll just continue to go around, just stabbing the brush on when I feel like there's not enough paint. Grab a little bit more, make sure it's not too much on the brush. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. And the most thing I'm trying to do is cover up um, the obvious silver from these parts, just so there is some difference in colour throughout the gun. Um, so yeah, maybe just me, I just find parts like this, I may, I may decide to change the colour of the uh, uh, the ammo as well. I decided to actually go up one layer, uh, same exact approach, you know, small brush, not at a point, and just kind of stabbing it on, uh, much less so this time, but I just felt like a two-tone green from Caliban Green to Warpstone Glow, it was was just going to add a little bit more, uh, more colour to it. Uh, I don't know, I know guns aren't necessarily colour, colourful, I don't particularly know anything about guns, but I feel like for this model, I wanted a bit of uh, 
Again, just a tiny bit of flair added to the weapon. And again, I'll probably do two coats of this. I felt like the silver was a bit too neat. So I got some uh, brass scorpion, uh, which is just a little layer paint. Um, I felt like gold would have been a bit too much. Um, highlighted these little two top bits here. Again, with this stippling effect, I'm just kind of... Oops, oh, that's probably a bit too much. I might actually go over that with a bit of silver again because that was too too thick. Um, just getting some of these edges. Just I think it's just to break up the silver. I didn't. I just didn't like it all being one color. Um, again, I'm not really an expert of how guns should look, um, but I felt like hopefully now you can see it's just broken up the color. A few tones, two tone on the green. For me, it's just a bit more exciting to have. In, in his hand. So I'm now pretty happy with the body as it is until I got it on the base, finished the head and popped it on. Um, I think I've got a nice transition from a light red to dark red, a bit of highlighting on the brown and a relatively cool gun. So I'm now going to start working on the skin including the hands.